Today we did a 17 mile force march representing AP Hill's Confederate Division that came from Harpers Ferry, Virginia to Miller's Cornfield here at the Antietam Battlefield to save the Army of Northern Virginia from defeat. They were in Harpers Ferry accepting the surrender of almost 20,000 federal troops. There wouldn't be a bigger surrender in the U.S. Army until the Battle of the Bulge. They came nonstop in 93 degree weather leaving dead men by the side of the road. Of the 8,000 men of this division, some 3,000 completed the march and came into action, saving the day for Robert E. Lee, a styming the Union advance over the Burnside Bridge. Here every year because I get to do a march with my friends and spend time uh, retracing the steps of the people I read about and it's part of our hobby. Something drew me into the Civil War. Um, actually it wasn't until later on that I discovered that I had a great 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 grandfather who came up from South Carolina who actually fought at this battle which is very special. Um, even though he was a South Carolinian, um, during the AP Hill March and what it really meant, we did not go into battle today. We did our 15 to 17 mile march all the way from Harpers Ferry. And I'm in awe to think that the men actually didn't stop there. They actually went all the way through and had to do battle. So out of the half of the guys who survived that battle, another half would be killed later on in the battle. But it did give General Lee and the Confederacy some time to round up their troops and successfully get back into Virginia. We march today to honor the men of both sides that fought here at Antietam. Uh, our Civil War <clears throat> was one of the things that made this nation great. It was a beacon of freedom to the rest of the world. <clears throat> Its after effects resonate in national life to this very day.